I'm moving to South Africa for six weeks to work on my golf, uh, play a few tournaments and get ready for the season. This time when I'm out there, I want to show you like the stuff that I didn't really show last time and some of the stuff that is quite interesting from the country. So join me on this trip. Just about to drive to Heathrow. Might have a little round with Steve Surrey lined up for tomorrow. So um, lots ahead on this vlog. Should be a good one. Enjoy. If your flight is departing from B or C gate. Just waiting for the gate. Plan is to get on the plane, get a really tasty meal down. I actually don't mind the plane food. Two sleeping pills and then vamos. Goodbye, cheer better. Also, if you're wondering. Also, if you I did a bit of research into YouTube golf, and apparently, to get above 100k, you need to have a beard. So, um, you know, making a few sacrifices. Looking partially homeless, 100k. Just trying to just weigh up my options. to say the U.S. will continue to stand up for human rights and policy. Share the meeting. Have you always had load shedding in South Africa? No, no. It's only in the it's, last... It started, I think, last year. Last year? Yeah. yeah, so basically they have times when the electricity goes off completely. Uh, it's just this right here, please. Um, and there's different stages and when I was here last time it was started at stage five then went on stage two so it's just like hey it's a guy I haven't seen for a while hello how you doing so I haven't been here for a while <laughs> how you doing <laughs> um, yeah so it's just down the end of the road and to the right yeah so they have so at the moment it's two hours on and two hours off. Yeah, break of two hours. Which is crazy. Yeah. So it's 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 not easy because you it'll be like eight o'clock at night and all of a sudden bosh, you're in a blackout. Yeah, there's like inverters and stuff and some people have inverters and they can sort of power the essentials like a lamp and some Wi-Fi. But uh, yeah, it's not easy, is it? See with the roads they've got like potholes. Yeah. You know? They don't care. The money goes out for those all those things like the budget. Yeah. But it never filters down to the to the to the people. Yeah. To, people to, to the it. intended what you call yes. Yeah. You know? They could say maybe hey we're gonna spend so many billions for for for, 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 for fixing the potholes. Yeah. And, then and it goes in the pocket. They pocket them. Yeah. <laughs> Checking in, getting uh, getting all the stuff in order, and then going over to meet Steve at Royal. It is now. What's the time? Twelve twenty-four. Is that right? Yeah. Twelve twenty-four. So we're gonna get unpacked, get ready, head over, and then hopefully go and play some holes. Oh, here we go. Back in action. There we go. Right, just up, rocked up at Royal, had some food, and now we're straight onto the golf course on the 10th at Royal. Gonna try and play a few holes and not break my back, I think. It's be a good, uh, good loosener for you, mate. I had six hours on the plane. Six hours of six what? Six hours sleep. Oh, sleep. I was quite impressed. How are you anyway, all right? Yeah, just not bad. I had to qualify for what feels like the last 30 events, but probably the last four events mm -hmm. it's not been not been very successful on the qualifying but uh but qualifying this week or next week on tuesday on monday at the back for a dp world state mines 
Is that right? State yeah, Mines? State Mines. Yeah, I've never been there. But And then two more events after that and a couple of weeks off in between. So I just want to unwrap the new driver. I can't show him like what's in the bag, so I'm going to do a what's in the bag video. Okay. But it's pretty obvious which one is going to be the, the Aerojet LS. It's the first shot. What are you peeling off? Of? Just the loft, you know. He it? came out the middle of the face, mate, which I'm surprised yeah. about. I've seen a lot worse after a warm-up. Oh, yeah. Never changes, does it? Oh, no, it's too Is that what you just said? No, I'm saying my setup I feel like I've been in like a car crash. Nothing's lined up. I don't know if I'm aiming left or right. Different parts of the body feel like they're aiming in different areas. It's just it's not the, a lot of fun. The centre of the middle there. Yeah, that one went straight, but there's plenty of time yet. They're not been feeling good. Not great. No, I sent the coach some swings of uh, some videos this morning. See if he can sort it out. Yeah. It's not been terrible. Can you stop bringing the ride down, mate? I've just got here. No, I've been negative. From England. I've been negative, Nigel, since you got here. Like Jesus. Well, you met the. Look at the sun. You were landing at 5:30. Yeah, Just not South African time. <laughs> Got that wrong. I went two hours back instead of forward. I'll be up here at 5.30. We can practice at 10. Four hours late. <laughs> Sat here all morning. <laughs> Honestly. How far, mate? 196. Bit downwind. Trying it at 5 iron. One for me. Look at this green manicured grass. Yeah, I've just sort of got used to it. Yeah, that's the thing. You take it for granted after like a week. Yeah. But you get it and you're like, f***ing hell, this is Amazing. good. How far have you got? 1.8 metres. I found this like at home in a drawer. You've done me by 50 off the plane. Before you bang on about your lazy that you found in the drawer. <laughs> so for people that haven't seen South African content before, we play metres here, but we play it as like a straight conversion to yards. So whenever I say like 148, it will always be metres, but it plays yards because Joe Berg's up in the, up in the elevation. Up in the elevation? Up in the clouds? Yeah, no, I, th I think you got your point across, mate. Okay. I won't say we're high. First shot with these irons as well, I won't say what they are yet. Glad you unpacked all your excuses. Straight off the plane, first shot with the irons. Mm. Shut that. Whoa. Whoa. Shut up. Yeah, got a decent sort of relationship with the guys here. And um, let's see Steve's chip. And they've let me play and practice it and film for free, which is unreal if you consider sort of what course it is they've hosted. They've hosted everything, haven't they? Joe Berg Opens, yeah, South Africa. Yeah, Joe Opens. We've played both courses. We haven't done much on the west, have you? No. That was closed, wasn't it? I think I've only filmed it once, but they've redone it, haven't they? Yeah. I've just chipped up for a five. We're not do actually doing anything, are we? Just filming, aren't we? Oh, we're just having a knock on it, yeah. Just get that on camera. In case you start beating me and then decide we're doing something. I might whip out the other camera. Got well, these running at like 10, 11. Mm, 10 I'd say. Off well, they've been back in England, about 14 with the, the ice. And the yellow sphere. Take a four down there, out the blocks mate. It's nice to see a ball roll. Yeah, especially that yellow one. Need to have a You're meeting a fan, about that. No, I'm not a fan You're not at a all. Fan. What's wrong with the yellow? Because have you, have you ever tried it? No. Right. Okay. Well, I've noticed, because I actually have to buy my golf balls, right? The, the yellow ones, the yellow casing, it's obviously different from the white. No, it doesn't scuff as much. do not scuff. But I can play 18 holes and not change it. Obviously, I do change it because I know it must have it a bit, but you literally play 18 holes and it's got like a little scuff on it and you've hit like five full wedges. Hmm. It's always, it's not very professional sound, and then it's really like, oh, I use them because they last longer. Or, oh, I could see that in the trees. Got the Egyptian geese. No zoom on this GoPro, which is a shame. Otherwise you'll be getting the full, the full experience. <laughs> full Nat Geo. Shit. 
150. Right, shot traces and ball speed action. Ball, okay. Yeah. What, we've got to go for it? Should we, well, we could hit one standard and then one's, one, okay. just trying to max it out. Is that because the last hole you got more with an iron than I did with the driver? Yeah. Okay. May have been 20 by Steve with my two iron on the next. I've got your game. Trying to max out on the first one? Nah, big. What's that? 155. Three and a half thousand spin. Splish flash. 177. 307. Right, we're going to get in there tight for this one. Don't get in too tight, I don't want you getting sucked in. Oof! Jeez. A, a little bit high toe. Hello. Yeah. Oh, that I don't have to zoom in on that. <laughs> what, what's wrong with that? Well, the launch was quite good. But if the launch was down, I would have been in like the one, 165s there. <laughs> but it wasn't down. Oh, I can film you. Come on, what are we getting? What are we uh, aiming for? Well, I don't know, mate. It's not going to be quick. <laughs> well, you can't say that after I've put in all that effort to produce that. It's going to be 185 tops, I think. Hmm. Yeah, not very quick. That's bottomy. Oh, one on one. Hello. Not bad for a thin, is it? Hey? Nah. Bastard. I'm shattered. It's been quite a long day or journey. Um, it's five o'clock now in South Africa and I've got to edit this video, get it up for you guys tonight and then try and get an early one, hopefully like eight, nine o'clock. And then the content is really going to start. Um, I'm obviously here in Joburg at the same time as Steve. So lots of videos with Steve. Hopefully we're going to get out, play some de different courses, decent course vlogs. I've got some other content up my sleeve that I'm going to bring you. So hope you look forward to that. Plenty more coming. See you soon.